kept seeing a car go into the water. All day they've been showing me reruns in my mind of adventures with purpose. VP's gonna find her in that in the Prosser Lake. We have found Kylie Rodney's vehicle. Again, our search for Kylie at Prosser Creek Reservoir on August 21st at 10. There are plenty of questions and very few answers after four students at the University of Idaho were found murdered in their off-campus house. It's like if you look at Ted Bundy's eyes and you look at his eyes, they're the same. Maybe a little bit lighter. Uh, the one thing that I keep seeing is curls. So I don't know if he has curly hair or wavy hair, and that might be when it's grown out. I think he dungated, like his, his face might be a little bit longer. Um, there's a reference to a pointier type nose. He honestly looks a lot like Ted Bundy, but like a jacked up uh, Ted Bundy. Okay. Like not as handsome. Seriously, that's what I heard, like a jacked up Ted Bundy. Why am I hearing the word campus security? I keep getting like a like a security guard or a, a badge. I don't really, and that could be in his past as well. That might not mean that he just does it right now. And names can be, like I said, interconnects can happen, so they might not even fit this case, or they can be connections to someone. I keep getting like a Brian or something like that. It's because they are going to catch him. Because I keep, I'm seeing him in an orange jumpsuit. Good. So that tells me that he wasn't as smart as he thought he was. Okay. Um, he's probably going to go to jail for this eventually. I keep getting December. Eight-year-old Brian Koberger, he was arrested Friday in Pell. also get the name Richard again. I also get the name Rick. Damn name Allen is coming in again. I jailed 50-year-old Richard Allen in connection with the double murder. Teen best friends Libby German and Abby Williams went hiking on a trail and never came home. Done on November 20th. 2019 at 7:14 p.m. Q and O. Um, I don't know. I hear something like Quentin or Quentin. I've heard that. I'm not sure if it fits here at all. But I'm seeing trash, and I don't. I, I'm not sure. But I've gotten it a lot, so it fits someone. Um, 9:42 Wednesday morning. Quentin Simon's mom told 911 her little boy was gone. I do keep hearing a trash truck though. Then I keep hearing the trash truck. It's almost like the trash truck is around the same time that he left. That's one thing I can't get rid of is the twisting of the trash bag. And um, so then I'm like, well, is he in the trash? Okay. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. I do hear landfill. Could be that that's where maybe the cops think that he is. Like he's in a trash bag, but. Well, new tonight, a heartbreaking search underway in Georgia for a missing toddler. Police are sifting through trash at a landfill for the remains of 20-month-old Quentin Simon. If he's still alive, which, honestly, earlier I felt he was. Um, and I felt like he was going to be found. That was earlier in the day. A three-year-old boy found alive and in good health. For some reason, I do want to go out the back of the house, though. But like to the wooded area, but I don't. He was last seen on Friday playing with his dad in their backyard. And I said, like with three within three miles by a log, I'm not seeing him being hurt, and I'm not seeing someone coming up and getting him. And I said, "Were you alone?" Yes. The main two things I keep getting is the wooded area and the shed. Well, to take cover in that shed, and I, I truly. My kid. I would want somebody to come help. We are live as law enforcement and volunteers search late into the night to find- I see him running to the woods. Um, like, Cam, like, is this an abduction or did he run off? But then they give yeah. me the Riker thing. Um, eh. No, I keep getting the repeated image of him running to the woods. House. It's um, like right in their backyard. Okay. So maybe he decided he wanted to go play and then he kind of got lost in the woods. Um, okay. He's got to be within two miles. I keep getting that two miles. Um, so, like, I keep getting reference to the edge of the woods. And so he's still alive because I'm not using him to get this information. Right. Around in the woods, like, I can't. I can't find my way out. I like I'm stuck. Like and I, and I said he's in a bush. 
Okay. And people were like, yeah. what the heck? What do you mean he's in a bush? I said, he's in a bush. And there's there's searchers around him, but they've missed him. Okay. Because he's yeah. in this bush. And uh, I went across a, a field um, of grass. I came up on some woods. And uh, I listened good. I heard like a whimpering kind of noise. And uh, at that point, I was like, there's no other kids here. It's got to be JJ. So sure enough, I went in the woods and about 100 feet from where I was at, he was, I think he was in some stickers. There's a lot of stickers and all there. Tonight in our missing series, a case that we have heard a lot about from our viewers. Here. The person. She wa he wants to take me down the road to another, to like a neighbor's house or something. Like another farm. I also hear neighbor. He said he knows this guy. He knows him. And he's a neighbor. I don't know what the friends come in. Respect. 58-year-old James Brenner, who also happens to be Dylan's closest neighbor in the remote desert area of Lucen, 